can't believe it. We're just a few short weeks from our big Pacific crossing. We're estimating 18 to 22 days to make it all the way across. But first, we're gonna sail over to the Sea of Cortez one last time to get ready to have our family over. But right now, we're gonna show you some of the Cabo nightlife. Unfortunately, the next day we had to say a sad goodbye to Laura's friends Sam and Kara. But we were welcoming our new guest and patron, Gary. Hello to all you folks in Houston, in my hometown, where it is sleeting and snowing. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's beautiful here in Cabo Harbor, Cabo San Lucas, Mexico where we're enjoying piscolas, piscolas. They're made with pisco, fermented, and then distilled from the skin of the grapes after they press them for the wine. Mixed with American Coca-Cola. It's a beautiful combination. <laughs> for real, there you go. Cheers. Cheers. We soon sailed out of Cabo for La Paz and the Sea of Cortez. It was a little over 140 miles with a stop in Los Frailes for the night. Unfortunately, the wind wasn't cooperating and there was only about two knots of wind. And it didn't help much that the swells were still up from the night before. At Los Frailes, our friend Dave picked us up on the beach and drove us into town. All right, so this is Dave. He's uh, Thad's friend right down here. So he's the yeah. one that took us to uh, Pepe's Pizza. Pepe's Pizza. Uh, is there a, how 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 close would the other pizza joint around here be? Thirty-five miles. Thirty-five miles away yeah. from another pizza place. Yeah. And not only do they sell pizza, but they do scuba and diving lessons. Yep, they got their own diving operation, pizza service. It's a kind of an in-house type of deal. You can do uh, pretty much everything here. You so get they fed, I like dive, it. and best margaritas in and how far? Next away? door. Tito's. Next door. Tito's. How far? 174 miles. Is that what you told me? Feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said miles earlier. Come on, no. <laughs> That's the oh, okay. So, but Tito's they make this right there. So, this is their own like homemade pizza dough, huh? Yeah. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Lencho. Le Lencho. 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 All right. So, Lencho, Lencho is our chef tonight. It was good to see the morning sun because the night before had been a little stressful. We lost two dogs. Like, we lost Maverick for a good 20 30 minutes and then we found the goose at least 30 minutes later. They were really afraid of fireworks. I should have thought about like making sure they were on a leash before we shut off the fireworks, but 
didn't. The pups were eager to get back to the scene of the crime, though. A lot of people that live in, I don't know if they live there or they just get, maybe it's their fish camp or something. A lot of people camp out here. There's lots of tents and stuff, I think backpackers and stuff. And it was really awesome because, uh, I mean, it was dark, there was no moon, and, uh, but, ooh, sorry, I think he's about to get washed away. All right, got the thing. Uh, anyway, so last night about nine o'clock maybe 9 30 or so they're really nice because they were helping us find the dogs well actually one of the locals here found maverick and then uh and then i found goose about 30 minutes. oh no and maverick's rolling in something dead no maverick get out of the way great he's rolling in something dead that's all awesome. After the boys got their shore time, we were headed to La Paz, about another 90 miles. I call these my sunset glasses. Although a lot of the time down here, you really don't need them. And it was the perfect sunset to send off Don and Gary, who were leaving the next morning before dawn. One thing that's important after sailing is to get all the salt after the boat, and sometimes it requires more scrubbing than others. Here's a wet t-shirt on. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm not going to take the shirt. <laughs> Life is in a stream. The ocean call for you. After taking care of the boat chores, it was time for a hike. This is the hill we were climbing for the day. Yes, we did give them water.
Please click like and subscribe, and this channel is funded by patrons and viewers like you. And be sure to check out the Sailing Doodles podcast.